Hi guys, DJ again. again. Another attempt with screen recording. This time I am trying to explain the concept of a swale and a level sill spillway. A level sill spillway. Now, this, imagine this is a piece of ground, a part of a whole land. And in here, what we have, what we are seeing is that there is a gradual slope up and down. And uh, on that slope water would just generally flow down instead what we have done is we have excavated this part of mud and put it as a bund as you can see in profile we have excavated this and put it as a bund and now whenever water flows the water is going to get collected in this uh, in this ditch in this swale now a swale is always on contour that is it is perfectly level uh, it's not going down slope it's not going up slope it is at a constant height that is that is what we mean by uh, being on level or being on contour that means it's all at the same height which means the water is going to fill at the same height all through the same so uh, if the water is till this part let me try and show that if the water is still this height it's it's the same height all over <coughs> In this in the swale uh, let me quickly show you that get a water object here just to make this clear for you guys suppose this is this is just water in the swale now it's going to be at the same depth the water is going to be at the same depth all through the swale uh, it's going to fill up, fill up, fill up and then overflow like that and the water will overflow over the swell. When that happens, the swell gets eroded. So what we don't want that to happen is the swell to gradually fill up in a big rain and then overflow over the built swell because the swell mound is not compacted. It's very loose. It gets eroded very fast if we allow water to flow over the top of it. So what we want to do uh, to prevent that is to build what we call a level sill spillway. Suppose this is the amount of water, this is the level of water that we want to fill in the swale before we gently allow it to overflow where we want. To do that, what we build is called a level sill spillway. So how do we do that? The way we do that is that at a particular place, wherever we want this, we are going to reduce the height of the swale wall like that. Now what starts happening is that all the water is going to overflow right where we have we have we have reduced the level to where we want. So when building a swale itself, we are going to select a space, place where we want to do this, and we are going to build a level spillway like that. So that water once it fills to that height, it's going to just overflow like that through the swale. Now to prevent erosion, uh, what we can do is that we can put grass, grow grass here. Let me quickly delete the water object so that you can see how a level spillway will look. It's going to look flat like that on level on contour right so the water is going to gently flow like a sheet over it now this is the spillway whereas the rest of it is the sail now what we, we can do what we want to do ideally to prevent erosion is to put grass grow grass in this that's one way or we can use stones to really pave this all over the place from here all over all of this is stones and when the water exits and hits the mud we want it to happen gently so we can pave all of this area in stone especially the edges like that then what starts happening is that the water when it's overflowing is not going to erode grass generally does the trick no issues unless the swale is a really big tall one that is the height of the swale is some uh, several feet you want a gradual slope behind the spillway 
or you can pave it you can line it uh, the edges doing this at the edges is called uh, setting skirts that's called skirting you want to skirt this very well like into the cell you want to bind the skirting so that the edges don't get eroded and below here is called the apron a p r o n uh, and this this uh, this is called the apron area and you want to dress this up you want to pave this all of this area with stones so that the water flows over the stones and uh, does not erode at the edge of these stones e if there is a drop we don't want any drop it should be gradual slope like that so that water 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 gently flows down hope um, uh, this makes the concept of a swale and a spillway easier for you the swale the concept of a swale is that the water is going to collect in the swale and soak into the into the mound where there are trees on the mound below the mound above the mound you want to grass up the top if you have steep situations so that you don't get erosion some people want to dig this like a trench and call it a control uh, contour trench that's also doable but it generally tends to get eroded and get into this shape and uh, lose its capacity over time better is to do it properly the first time do a proper swale uh, if of just a contour trench contour trench also works not too bad but uh, this is a far better way of doing things in most cases so this is the basic idea of a swale a spillway in a swale and uh, in case you want to have a crossing it is it can be had along with the spillway there are many swales which will just overflow onto the sides of a track you can cement this whole area and uh, you can even raise up raise a, raise the base at this particular point like that just a little bit right so that it's in level with the spillway and then that can be a track this is possible where the you no know, you have to be careful where you do this not everywhere you can do this um, but it is possible in appropriate places to set this up so that you can cross over uh, with a cemented road or something like that um, the spillway can also be an access way the other thing you can do uh, is that you can break the swale up like like uh, for example you can uh, you can break the swale up into pieces like that but you want to insert let me show you properly so you can um, oh, what am i trying to do here so you can break a swale into pieces here you can see two uh, parts of the same uh, contour in swales you can put a pipe underneath and have a crossing over this this is called a pipe swale crossing using a pipe you can put a pipe inside here through the mound or which you can walk generally good for uh, little tracks and all that not for heavy traffic but it can be designed for heavy traffic also so this is basically about a swale and a spillway hope you enjoyed that hope i was clear uh, this is much better than my last video where i was stuttering a lot hope this clears uh, the swale and spillway concept up for you thanks for watching dj signing off